intro song. Hi, Hi, I'm Barb. And I'm Alex. And we're Enchantarium. In today's Valentine's Day special, we are collaborating with our doll friends to create a doll inspired by a pastry or dessert from our countries. It's gonna be tasty! For a long time, we couldn't decide what kind of pastry or dessert we should choose. The first idea was pączki, which are Polish versions of donuts, but they're kind of boring when it comes to shape and colors. So we started to think, what's on every birthday, Christmas, Easter, wedding, afternoon tea with your grandma, everywhere in Poland? Vodka! <laughs> no. It's either sernik, a Polish cheesecake, or makowiec, a poppy seed cake. Makowiec can look like a regular cake, but there's also this kind of makowiec roll with a very interesting shape of the filling, and we decided to give it a chance in this collab. As always, the change of concept was a very last minute decision, so we didn't have much time to polish this design, so this doll was a bit chaotic in making, but I hope you'll like her anyway. We chose Persephone from Monster High as a base, because of her grey skin tone that reminds us of poppy seeds. I'm quickly preparing her to be customized by removing the hair, factory paint and cut ears. I want her hair to resemble the long shape of the roll before it's cut into slices, so long blonde hair it is. I'm using butterscotch and macadamia nylon from the Doll Hair Emporium. First, I need to paint the head so it doesn't peek through the hair. Our last project took more time than we initially thought, and during the video editing process I was complaining to my friends that I should start the next doll ASAP. Luckily, my friend Simon wanted to help me with the rerouting, and he did more than half of the head for me. I finished the hair, and this is what our joint effort looks like. The hair needs protection from the inside and I'm securing them with polymer glue. You might have noticed that I left two spots with no hair. She's going to have two little cute horns there. The train of thought behind this decision was Makovic is made from poppy seeds. Poppy seeds are used to make drugs. Drugs are bad. Demons are bad. Demons have horns. So she's going to be a little poppy demon. But horns are just a tiny addition. I've got a bigger modification in mind. Before applying epoxy sculpt, it's good to have a stiff surface and I'm filling the head with hot glue to achieve that. I really wanted to incorporate this spiral into the design, and first I thought about clothes with this shape, then a big black and white tattoo on the face, and then I thought this cake was staring at me, and the genius idea was born. It's an eye. So the idea went from a poppy demon to a poppy cyclop demon. I'm sculpting an eye shape and adding a bit of volume on the top and bottom to form eyelids. In retrospect, it would be so much easier for me to leave this surface flat and paint the eye from scratch, so if you plan to make a cyclop doll, consider that option too. And after smoothing with water, it looks like this. I mixed acrylic paint to match the skin color and put a few coats on her face. It's hard to notice if the transition is good or not when two parts are in different colors. I thought I could smooth it out with multiple coats of paint and matte varnish, but the uneven texture was bothering me too much. I removed all the paint and varnish and polished the head once more. It's still not perfect, as it's difficult to sand two materials that have a different elasticity, but it looks much much better, especially on her cheeks. Now, let's hear it from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth and connection through creativity. You may recall that I'm not the most fond of hand sewing, but I'd like to change that this year. I found a great course on Skillshare about hand sewing by a fellow YouTuber Bernadette Banner, in which she shares a lot of knowledge on how to make strong, long-lasting stitching with just a needle and thread. If you thought you needed a machine to make your own clothes, doll size included, I'd recommend checking out this course to change your mind. If you too have a specific skill you're trying to learn this year, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From graphic design, photography to freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. 1000 people can get a free one month membership on Skillshare by clicking our link in the video description. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's carry on with the custom. Her outfit will be simple but classy. Here's the colors I'm going to use this time. Makovitz isn't necessarily the most sophisticated cake. It's your basic, every party has to have one treat. So with the clothes, I want to counter that and make her look like an elegant boss lady. I first cut the pieces out of the blue and red cotton, as these will turn into a blue dress with red accents. I'm using a pattern by Requiem Art Designs from their mini dresses collection. I prepared the red accent pieces first by hemming the long piece and trim for the upper part of the dress. 
It was kind of weird sewing such a small thing after our last smart doll project, so I helped myself out with a glue stick instead of pins. On the main front piece I first sew in the darts. Then I attach the backs at the side seams. I attached the trim along the top edge and flipped it to the right side and gave it a press. It's not flawless, but it will be enough for me this time. Then I hemmed the bottom and closed the back of the dress. I flipped it to the right side and added velcro in the back off camera. The overskirt is really simple too. I added the red trim to one edge and gathered the other edge. The gathered edge will go right sides together with a waistband of which the other edge will be simply hemmed. I like to press my gathers in place so that they are a bit more regular. I hand stitch a small gather at the bust to hide my mistake and make the fit a bit better. The skirt also got a velcro closure and this is how they look together. I will make a coat for her from my Maddie Hatter pattern which is available for free in the description below. Maddie Hatter pattern. Maddie Hatter pattern. I'm making some changes to it so I can make sure the pattern lines up on the coat nicely. I had a bit of a mishap cutting the first piece as I didn't fully understand how to make the pattern mirror itself. Since I don't think it's perfectly square, if that makes sense. Anyways, here's the pieces we're gonna need. I'm gonna start by piecing together the back and collar pieces and hemming the big rectangles. I don't want stitching to show on this one because of the contrast of the pattern, so I'm using fusible tape to hem everything in this project. I think it's quite self-explanatory how this works. I did it to the sleeves too. Next, I joined the front and back together at the shoulder seams, and yeah, I know the pattern doesn't line up perfectly, but I kinda need you to let it be that way. I added the collar in, both right sides up, and glued the seam allowance down. I added the sleeves, which is always tedious in this scale, and closed up the side seams. We now need to make this big thing fit this small thing, so I kinda just guessed where the pleats will go and secured them with stitching. Then I joined the panels with the bodice right sides together, and the coat is finished. I love how eye-boggling this pattern is, just like when you have too much Makovitz. To add a Slavic detail and tie the design together with poppies, I'm making some out of polymer clay. My first attempt was a bit lazy and ugly, so Hulk smash! I busted out a couple more tools and made the petals a bit more detailed with a pin. I skipped the yellow on the inside and added some black caviar beads mixed with liquid clay to imitate the seeds in the poppy flower. Looks much better. Let's focus on the poppy seed cake eye. I don't want it to be inspired by the cake. I want it to be the cake. As always, I'm starting with watercolor pencils, drawing all the basic shapes and colors. This first try was not bad, but for some reason I thought she would look better with more of a sassy look and I tried to work against the sculpt. I have to admit, I really struggled this time with the face. Probably because it's very different from what I usually do, you know, normally the eyes are not symmetrical and I usually draw on a flat surface. But also, cool skin colors are not easy to work on for me. I never know what colors to use on the waterline or as the blushing on the cheeks. I removed her lashes like four times before I realized this eye I sculpted is more on a cute side. So I gave up the sassy tries and accepted the cuteness. From all the cleaning, her forehead became more and more dark and dirty looking, and I decided to cover it with the same paint I applied to match the colors of the clay and vinyl. I wasn't sure if this look needs a brow, but I decided to try and I really like it. She's missing a little bit of a pastry-like vibe in her eye, so I'm shading it with a few shades of brown pastels. I usually don't gloss the eyes nowadays, but since I didn't draw any catch lights, I think a gloss varnish will help bring this look to life. I plan to make a few braids to add a bit of a Slavic vibe. Pastries and dishes with poppy seeds are popular in all the Slavic countries, so I thought it would be cool to capture the essence of it in this doll. I painted the tips white to look like frosting on top of the cake. 
but I did it in a cartoon style which doesn't suit her anymore after I painted all that texture on her forehead. Now it looks more cohesive. I lost her original hands so I swapped them for these Vandala's hands and I'm painting the same gradient effect on her arms and tail. The hairstyle looked a bit sad, so to bring even more of that Slavic touch I'm braiding the braids together at the back. Then I spice it up with the tiny puppy's barb made from polymer clay. I have this mix of beads and I'm going to hunt for the red ones. I made a bead necklace to go well with the braid. This time we're going very simple with shoes. I found these in our stash and after painting a few parts with white paint, they are a perfect addition to the whole outfit. A few glue details in the form of half pearl gems and a spare poppy flower in the hair and she's ready. This is how she turned out. For quite obvious reasons, we decided to name her Poppy. I hope you can see that she was inspired by a Poppy seed cake at first glance. If you're hungry for more sweets, make sure you watch videos by Josephine's Creatures, Case Oak Factory, Kairos Workshop, Mr. Super Customs, Selen, and Valkyrie's World. I am sure their pastries are just as sweet as Poppy. What's the traditional or iconic dessert in your country? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear about all the sweets and pastries from all around the world. Make sure to follow us on Instagram for some sneak peeks and subscribe for future videos. Have an enchanted day and we'll see you next time. Bye! There is no bloopers. There's, the bloopers are not funny this time because Alex is sick with the plague. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help me. I'm under the water. <laughs> Stuck in the moment.